Hello, I'm Anna Park and I'm the Care and Education Consultant for Erm Interactive. This is going to be a short demonstration of the Mobby Interactive Table or the Mobby Magic Surface, showing you the content, the ways you might use it and explaining the benefits for those in your care. So I'm starting with a scatter application. This is sandy shells on a beach and you can see I'm just using my hands to push those shells across the surface. Very little movement is needed. It really is quite a therapeutic effect. I'm going to just switch to a baton. Uh, that extends my reach so I can stretch even further. You can see how straight away this is going to increase somebody's well-being. You've got the sounds of the sea, you're physically moving, you're being encouraged to move and I'm just going to gather them into a little pile there but you can do what you want with them. Now we're using a ball across a lagoon which is again scattering seashells which turns a ball passing experience into something far more magical really helping to maintain those reflexes and spontaneous movements. So this is how the menu screen looks. You can see I'm scrolling sideways and I've just selected spring flowers, which is a wipe activity. A brief loading screen, I'm gonna use a little brush. And as I brush the screen, it instantly starts to color. I'm just gonna raise the background sound a bit as well so you can hear the music, because music's so important. I think. That's something that came out of our research, that the combination of music and colourful visuals really does have uh, a very beneficial effect on those that use it. So this can be any image. It already comes with lots of content, but to have these wonderful colours coming up, which encourages you to move and stretch. And we've had people stand up and really want to finish painting a whole picture, and they've surprised the staff that they've, they've actually moved so much just to complete it. Instead of a whole picture to colour here, we have different silhouettes which reveal breeds of dog. The idea being that residents can then discuss their favourite pets, share memories, which really helps the staff get to know them better. And for those not actually physically participating, there is the option to sing along to this popular song. Changing the field completely here, this is a physical challenge game, and the idea is to catch the eggs as they move across the table and crack them. I'm just using a baton so I can stretch that bit further. This is really good for a whole group gathered, a great social application and a lovely cake reward too. Here's another idea of a splat application. This one uses the sound effects from nature. I'm just going to show you what happens if I speed those up a bit. So you have the option with any of the applications to make it a little bit more difficult for those that are finding it easy. And this helps to maintain physical participation coordination and spatial awareness. Music is shown to be an essential part of our system. It really does help with emotional well-being and a sense of calm. And this app really does explore that use of music. We have a whole octave of notes that can be played and each note lights up a candle. Reminiscence is another important part of what we do and here we have a, an application that really does suit those that maybe have a decorating background just by using a brush in that traditional way we're tapping into that feeling of connection and belonging. Another nostalgic application here we've got an old-fashioned sweet shop and as you wipe away you reveal all the sweets of your childhood. So again another great conversation starter for staff and their residents. This time, as the image recovers, you have the option to go back and then visit inside the sweet shop. So now you can see all the sweet bottles lined up on the shelves. And this sequence effect can be really powerful. Some more nostalgia, but this time we're using a scatter effect to reveal the steam train. Uh, you've got the sounds of the station. Uh, this is actually Corf Castle in Dorset. And I'm just going to use the control now to, to make those steam clouds stay away a little longer. So all you have to do is increase the return delay. So I'm going to put that right up. So now when I scatter the clouds out of the way, they will stay out of the way and you'll be able to enjoy the entire picture and have conversations about all the people on the platform. Encouraging physical activity is an important part of what we do. And this type of act is so effective at getting people to move and stretch as they push the hot air balloons up into the sky. And now for something completely different, using the table as if it's a traditional board game or a fun fair activity. So this is a two player game, uh, standing at either end or sitting at either end of the table. And we're pushing counters across and lighting up scores. 
and this traditional shove penny game which really does create a great social atmosphere, all the fun of the fair and everybody can be involved. I want to show you how every application on the menu has a description so you know exactly what the name of the application is and a little bit of information about how you might use it with those in your care. Here's another rock pool but this time I'm going to show you it on the floor. So this is a water application and you can see how I'm moving my feet and the water is rippling and the fish are responding. And here's the effect when I roll a ball across the surface of the water. Back to the table now and I'm just going to show you the opposite effect where the fish are actually swimming towards my movement. So I'm just holding a little lid and I'm making some tiny movements with my finger which is enough for the fish to come towards me and respond. So you can see how little movement's needed. Really small movements are enough. And as I roll the ball across, the fish start to follow it. Here we've got a wonderfully bright, colourful coral reef. And it's images like this that can really bring nature indoors and, and transport your residents to somewhere completely different, to places around the world that are no longer within reach. All of these sensory nature applications are really beneficial for emotional well-being. And we find they're particularly good for mindfulness and sensory and namaste type sessions. Our suite of ball games are great for encouraging physical activity, coordination and maintaining balance as people are really encouraged to take part. Great for onlookers as well and this is a wonderful way of involving residents, families and children to really participate in activities together where everybody's equal. As well as beach ball we have football, rugby, basketball and I'm going to show you my personal favourite, the air hockey. So there's a little puck in the centre, we're just using two lids here. You can see it's keeping us tally of our goal score. Again, this is a great activity for encouraging intergenerational play and will be a firm favourite with the grandchildren. Here's one of our quiz activities. I'm just going to use a freeze button. This allows me to talk about the three possible answers before any interactivity will work. So removing that now and I can make my choice. Uh, until I get the right answer, it won't move on till the next question. So Crocus was correct, so it moves on to the next question. Again, using the freeze button so I can choose and discuss. Once it's removed, I can make my choice. And the great thing is an interactive quiz can involve everyone, even those not actually physically participating. Back to the floor now, and I just wanted to show you how anything can be used to interact with the system, so your imagination is the only limit. We've had some wonderful photos sent to us of people using dusters, mops, brooms, brushes, and I'm having a go here with a long-stemmed flower. Here's something that will really appeal to all ages, uh, the idea of splatting paint balls just by moving your feet. And again, for balance and coordination, it's a great activity. Here we have some fish on the floor. Again, I'm using my feet to make little ripples. This isn't for everybody. Obviously, some might find this a little disorientating, but for others, it really can be quite magical to bring the wonders of nature indoors. Splat on the floor. So this is all about balance, coordination, uh, having to take a foot off the floor to tap that dandelion. And then once the last dandelion has been tapped, you get your reward. Uh, using something else from our activity kit, our bean bags, and this is a floor water target game. So great for mental arithmetic, for encouraging physical participation, and a great social activity for all involved. And using scatter on the floor here, you can see how it encourages me to make sweeping movements. It's this range of motion that makes it so beneficial for physical ability. So I hope you found this demonstration useful. It's a very brief overview, but it gives you a good insight into how it might benefit those in your care and the many different ways in which you can use it.